Hey guys, if our video helped you out, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit on the bell notification so that you can catch our latest guide or tutorial from us. Hi, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to guide you through on purchasing a VPS server from us. Firstly, you want to head over to Forex VPS plan. Click on plans and pricing, it will bring you to three different plans, standard, advanced and expert VPS. Right below the pricing, you can check for their specifications. Once you've chosen the plan you want, you can click on buy now. If you can't decide on which plan is best for you, you can contact our support for help. Over here at our shopping cart, you can choose a variety of server plans, depending on which you need. I'm going to stick with the standard plan. After that, you'll want to choose your server location. I am going to choose Frankfurt just for this showcase. Over here, you can choose your billing cycle, be it monthly or annually. Next would be where the important details come. So, for the first section which is our panel login details. You will want to enter a panel login name and login password. Remember to key in the requirement needed for your name length and password length. You can check the description below to skip to the explanation of what the panel does. The second section would be your virtual machine name and password. Virtual machine name basically would be the name you want to assign to your VPS server. The password would be the one you would be using to log into your VPS. The username is default when logging in your VPS, so the purpose of virtual machine name would be so that you can easily identify or separate which VPS is this when you're in the control panel, which would be shown later in the video. After you've key in your credentials, you will need to enter your personal details and billing information to check out. Create an account, if you haven't done so already, to save you time from future transaction. After you've done all that, you will come over to this section. There is five payment method for you to choose from. Once you've chosen your payment method, head over to the CAPTCHA and complete it. You can also add additional notes if you want to. Check out once you're done and everything is completed. Once you've checked out and completed your payment, you'll want to head over to your email. Some email might take a few minutes to arrive as it takes a while to configure and create the VPS, so if you don't happen to see a few email, don't worry about it. Give it a few minutes and it will arrive shortly. Over here, you'll see that I've received 6 email. The two important email you want to pay attention to would be your Forex VPS credential and your panel account credentials email. Now, if you were to open up the panel account credentials email, you should see your credentials over here. There would also be a URL and control panel information for you to head over to the control panel website. Let's head over there and I'll show you what it does. Over here, at your control panel login, you will want to key in the credential you had created earlier just now at the shopping cart page. The email would also have your login details, so you can refer back if you were to ever forget your username or password. In your control panel, you can check for your virtual machine status and stuff. To manage your VPS behind the scene, you'll want to head over to Provisioning, followed by Virtual Machines. Over here, you can see the state of the virtual machine, and most importantly you can, refresh, start, pause, shut down, power off or reboot your VPS. So if you happen to have some issues and you want to reboot your VPS, you can do it over here at your control panel. You can also head over to your dashboard, to do the same over here at the top right beside your virtual machine name. Next, would be your Forex VPS credentials email. Once you've received this email, it shows that your VPS has been created and ready for you to use. In this email, you would receive your login details for your VPS. The three thing you'll want to take note of, would be your IP address, username and password. You will need this three information to log into your VPS. Now I'll open up my remote desktop connection and key in the information in the email.
As you can see, I've successfully logged into my VPS. If you've any inquiries, leave it down in the comment section below or contact us at our support email, and we'll help you out from there. Thanks for watching.